Right. If I hear one more person tell me that all Mike Tomlin does is win. Uh oh, here we go. We about to beat up Mike. And you know what? I can't even defend him right now. I'm going to try my best to, but these last two have been brutal. And the Steelers, I, we'll get to this. Let me read these comments. I'm going to vomit. <laughs> what has he won? I'm tired of mediocrity. We barely finish above 500 each year. So I get it. And as, as a fan of a team that is, we're not the definition of mediocrity. We're below mediocrity. We, we, we're we rating that 7 and 10 range when it was 16 games, 7 and 9. You know, uh, that's where we live, right? So I get it. You're not good enough to make any, you know, da- to do any damage, to make any noise, but you're not bad enough to get anything that's difference making. You, you, we remember the soundbite from 2020 when Washington played the Steelers and Chase Young walks over to Mike Tomlin. And he says, I don't want to lose enough games to get a player that looks like you. And they never do. They never do. So you got to draft really well and um, you got to make do with whatever you, you get your hands on. And I think here's the two biggest failures I've seen with the Steelers organization. And we're going to make this we're, – we're going to turn the, 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 our attention to Mike Tomlin here in a second. But I think he's a byproduct of the environment that's been created in Pittsburgh. And it's a damn good environment, but as everything in life, it has its pros and its cons. And um, sometimes it can be a detriment to the Steelers that they're so loyal to their employees, players, coaches, staff members, et cetera, et cetera. It's a loyal organization. That's why they've only had three coaches over the last 60 years between Chuck Knoll, Bill Cowher, and now Mike Tomlin. They don't fire coaches very often. These guys are usually allowed to retire as long as they're doing a good job. And the Steelers usually are in or around the playoffs every year with Mike Tomlin as their head coach. Um, Mike Tomlin should have fired Matt Canada a long time ago. And for whatever reason, he didn't. He just kept the, and and you know sometimes I think teams get caught up in the way that they do things. So when Matt Canada was fired, I think I I saw that this is the first time in Steelers history that they fired a offensive coordinator in season. Like they don't do that, and I think that was something that they were weighing very heavily when they made that. They didn't want to fire him. He should have been fired. They had ample opportunities to fire him, and they didn't. All these young, innovative, offensive-minded guys out here, and you got Matt Canada effing it up week after week for three, four years. That's a that's a bitter pill to swallow, but that's that Steelers culture of, hey, we're going to fix our shit ourselves, right? Like, we don't look to the outside for help. We got it. That's their culture. We'll take care of our own business. We don't need help from nobody else. And I think it stunted their growth, honestly, especially on the offensive side of football. But to Tomlin, let's read another. Let's keep going. And we'll talk more about them. Steel City says Tomlin hasn't won a playoff game in six years. On the rare occasion we make the playoffs, we get embarrassed. Also, for those who thought Canada was the problem, guess who hired him? Tomlin. I, and you're not wrong. You're not wrong. And I'm going to let you continue your rant. If people are pushing for Belichick to be fired four years after a Super Bowl win, keep that same energy for Tomlin. I'm not saying I want him fired, but, I, it, but that just needs to be – but that he needs to be questioned. Steel City continues. Lastly, it's not like we don't have talent. We have playmakers on offense and studs on defense, and it's been the case for the past few years. And you're not wrong. And that's why I always say I can't quite put my finger on what exactly is wrong in Pittsburgh other than the play calling, right? I can't quite put my finger on why they're not better. They haven't. And so if I'm defending Mike Tomlin, I'll say this. He hasn't had a lot to work with 
at the quarterback position. I mean, even Ben in his latter years was trash. Okay. We saw it. Like before our very eyes, we saw Ben Roethlisberger turn into Ben Berger. Like there was no Roethlis. It's just Berger at the end. And defenses was eating his ass up. It was, it was sad to watch after knowing what he had been for all those years. It was sad at the end. And look, I know Tomlin isn't a perfect coach. Far from it. And he's got his faults. And, you know, not every he's not for everyone. And the results are what they are. But you also have to give him credit. And I get it. You're tired of mediocrity. You're tired of not winning in the playoffs. But it's a miracle that you're even getting there when you get there. I mean, let's not forget about the quarterbacks that he's had to drag to eight, nine wins, right? And <clears throat> I, I know you don't care. You're not trying to hear that. And tonight's not the night for that. You lost two games in a row to two two-win teams. Like, I get it. Shit sucks. But we talking about Duck Hodges, Landry Jones, Mason Rudolph, like, Mitchell Trubisky, like these are the quarterbacks that you've had starting for you over the last five years. A bad Ben Berger. And Kenny Pickett just had his first game of his career where he threw multiple touchdown passes. That happened like in week six or seven this year. The man started like 20 some odd games already and he hadn't done that yet. There's a lot that we can point to. They find ways to win usually. That hasn't been the case the last two weeks, and that's really disappointing. But I can say this. There are a lot of teams with a lot more talent that get a lot less results than Mike Tomlin does out of this Steelers group every single year. And there's a lot of teams around the league who would love to take Mike Tomlin off your hands if you don't want him. And I get it. And I'd be the first to stand in line if Mike Tomlin got fired. I'd be the first lining up. Hey, let me get it. Let me get at him. You don't want him? Let me get him. Trust me, there's always somebody eyeballing your stuff. And you never know how good you've got it until it's gone. Now, I'm not saying that Mike Tomlin is the end-all, be-all. Because if you got rid of him and you moved on to the next guy, maybe the next guy comes in here, cleans some shit up, and all of a sudden you're winning 13 games. That could be the case. And Mike Tomlin, and, and again, because Tomlin is the one hiring these dudes, he's a part of the problem. I get that too. I understand wholeheartedly. I get it. Not only was he the one that hired Matt Canada, he doubled down and refused to fire Matt Canada. Yeah, that's a double whammy. I get it. But Tomlin is also the one that is helping you win games with this mentality of, hey, we're going to figure this shit out no matter what. We're going to find a way. And he, that, as, even though he hasn't done it the last two weeks, which has been super disappointing, we're going to find a way. And whether it's the Baltimore game earlier this year that you had no business winning, or it's the Browns game on Monday Night Football earlier this season that you had no business winning, he's found ways to win games, and you have to give him credit for that. And I contend, and I'll continue to say this, his biggest fault his biggest failure in Pittsburgh since he's gotten there has been his inability to find an offensive coordinator that has been able to elevate the offense. Because you got talent. You got talent. That's, the, that's been the biggest downfall. You find the right offensive play caller, and that could happen this offseason. Don't hire within. 
Like that's the only thing I would say is like, don't, don't promote somebody from within, like find some, find a young, innovative offensive mind that that's going to come in there and, and spruce up this offense. There's too much talent for this kind of struggle week in, week out. But you can do a hell of a lot worse than Mike Tomlin. I'm just telling you. I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, Derek B. also writes, Pittsburgh, please fire Tomlin. I, I just told, I just told my guy, um, I just told my guy, where he at? Steel City. I just told him, if you don't want him, I damn sure take him off your hands. Free of charge. We'll do all the moving. We'll come get all of his stuff. We'll move free of charge. You don't got to do nothing. We'll take him off your hands. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. All the complaints you got about him, we'll figure that shit out on the fly, but we need that kind of toughness in our locker room. We need that kind of resolve from a, our leader. So if you don't want it, let me get it. <laughs> let me have it. And that that's that's homegrown product. He grew up in the in VA. He come back and give to the city. He from Newport News. Bring him home. You don't want him, let me get him. I won't hesitate. Mm -hmm. 